Hello everyone, this is Sani and you guys are watching Coding with Sani. In this video, I'm going to develop a simple dashboard for an Android application. So let's get started. First of all, let's open the Android Studio. Okay, our Android Studio is up and running. Just click on New Project. From here, I'm going to choose Empty Activity. Give the project name. I'm going to name it Simple Dashboard App. And choose the Java as a language, minimum APK level. Okay, and then click Finish. Let your Android Studio to build your application for you guys. Okay, our application is up and running. The first thing you need to do, go into your resources, open the values and color. And here I'm going to change the color primary, color primary dark and color accent for our application. These are different hexadecimal values that I'm going to use for our primary colors. If you want to have the same colors inside your application, I recommend you guys to pause the video and use this color as your primary, primary dark and color accent. Okay. So next thing I'm going to do is to create another color that would be background color and inside the background color I'm going to use this value. After this, let me create a color white. I'm going to use 4F. After that, let me create another color that would be color light gray. And for the light gray color, I'm going to use this value. After that, let me copy the resources that I'm going to use inside our application. I'm going to use this AV, just copying this and pasting inside our drawable folder. So you can see that our AV has been pasted inside our drawable folder. Now in the next step, go into your layout file and from here, open the activity underscore main. Let me close this. Change this constraint layout to relative layout. Let me remove this. Let me open the preview. Now I'm going to create the background color for this. Before that, let me change the device to pixel 3xl to create the background for this just go to your drawable right click on it new and drawable resource file from here i'm going to name it background image change this to selector to shape and shape would be our rectangle shape here i'm going to use the gradient and inside the gradient the first thing i'm going to set is the angle that would be 90 after that, I would be using the start color that would be our light gray color and then center color that would be our white color. And after that, I'm going to use the end color that would be white color as well. And in the end, you need to set the type that would be linear. So in this way, we have created a background for our main activity. Then go back into your main activity and here just set the background to our background image. And you can see that our background has been implemented into our emulator okay now if i open our mock-up then you can see that the first thing here is the this back button to have this back button first i'm going to change this to linear layout then setting the orientation to vertical okay and here i'm going to use a relative layout as a child layout inside this linear layout that would be match parent and then 40 db and inside this relative layout i'm going to have a text view with the wrap content and wrap content height after that i'm going to set the text for it to set the text go into your string file open this project then go into resources then into string file and here i'm going to create a string that would be back text okay just simply have that go into your activity underscore main and inside the text i'm going to have it back text okay now set the text size to 15 sp and font family to serif monospace set the text style to bold and padding around it to 10 dp now set the align parent right to true and margin right side to 10 dp so we have completed the first step next we have to create this border and this image view then we will be needing this text view with a line and this computer science text okay for that purpose First thing I'm going to create the border. To create the border, right click over here, then go into resources and right click on the drawable new drawable resource file. And I'm going to name it background border. Okay. Here just change the this to shape. After that, set the stroke. And here I'm going to use the color color primary dark and width would be 2 dpm. After that, just set the corner and radius to 8 dp 
Now go back into activity main and here I'm going to create another linear layout inside this match parent then wrap content. You need to set the margin on the both right side to 10 dp and margin on the left side to 10 dp as well. Now inside this linear layout I am going to create another linear layout with match parent and height of 160 dp. And after that, let me set the background that we have just created. That was border. Set the gravity to center and orientation to vertical for this layout. Now, I will be using the four views inside it. First one would be an image view. Okay. Next one would be a text view. Okay. After that, just view. And after that, there would be a text view for the department name as well. So we have created the four view. Now I'm going to set the properties for all of these views. So now I'm going to set the properties for our image view. First thing is to set the height. I'm going to use the 70 dp, 70 dp. After that, I'm going to set the source. So that was our AVI that we have got into in the beginning of this. And then I'm going to set the scale type to center crop. After that, going to set the properties for our text view and this would be our uh, wrap content wrap content and text would be tape drop it okay and now margin top would be 5 dp and text style would be bold and text size would be 20 sp okay now let me set the properties for our view this would be which would be 120 dp and height would be 2 dp after that let me set the background and I'm going to use the light gray color. Okay, and margin top would be 5 dp. And the last, I have to set the properties for this text view for wrap content, and this would be wrap content as well. Text would be our computer science department. Now, let me set the margin top to 5 dp, and text size would be 15 sp. So we have completed the first step that was to have border around it and at the same time this profile then name and then this horizontal line and then this computer science department okay now let me open the mock-up again now we need these four boxes for our dashboard the first thing I'm going to do is to get these image assets into our drivable folder to have these image assets go to your project resources and right click on drivable new then vector assets you insert the vector assets just click over here and first one is this just click over here and this was for courses in the color to white next finish next we are going to have another vector asset just click over here again and from here just choose the mail that was this one uh, first let me choose this which is for hostels okay and i'm going to change this to hostel next we will be choosing an vector asset for our email mail just choose this one you can choose either one of these just click ok and name this to mail and the last one is for history and this is some kind of refresh button so I'm going to use this one and going to change this to history and then next finish just close this as we have all the assets into our folder okay so next step is to create another linear layout with the match parent with 170 dp height and orientation should be horizontal Next thing you need to set is the margin top to 10 dp. The gravity of this linear layout could be center. Okay. Now I'm going to create another linear layout with the 130 dp width and 150 dp height. Orientation would be vertical. Gravity. Gravity would be center. And background for this linear layout would be our color primary. Just close this linear layout and inside this linear layout we're, we're going to have one image view, text view and a view. For that purpose, first I'm going to create an image view. Then 
view and then a text view okay for the image view i'm going to have 90 dp height and the 90 dp width and for the background i'm going to use the source that would be our courses source okay now for the view i'm going to use 90 dp and 2 dp height and background would be color primary dark that's it next thing you need to set is this text view and this would be wrap content wrap content then text would be courses text type bold and text size would be 17 sp okay and next thing you need to set is the text color that is white color so we have created our first box now i'm going to copy this whole linear layout by pressing start from copying here to this just press ctrl c and after that just paste right below of this linear layout and we will be creating a new linear layout over here so here first thing you need to set in this linear layout that we have copied here is the margin left okay so i'm going to use the 10 dp so you can see that we have created space between two views okay the next thing you need to set is to change this to hostel okay and now this will text of the text view will be changed to hostels as well cool just press ctrl s to save it so in the next step i'm going to tell you guys that how not to code everything we have created one row and we can use code of this row to create the another row just below of this row okay so i'm going to copy this whole linear layout that we have created under the linear layout over here from this task just press ctrl c and after this linear layout just paste it over here okay so you would be seeing that we have created another row just behind of this row now we need to change the values for this okay the first thing you need to change is the this ic and this would be our history okay and after that just change this to history now go right next to this one and here i'm going to change this to our email or mail and i'm going to change this text to email okay so in this less than a minute we have created the whole scenario just like our mock-up our mock-up you can see that we have created almost the same pattern in here the next thing we are going to need is this wave for that purpose i have already created scalable vector graphics i will teach you guys that how you can create scalable vector graphics in the next video for the time being let me import that graphic over here just go to project then resources right click on on trouble new vector asset and from here click local spg okay now browse for that i have stored that onto my desktop and from here i'm going to use the wave spg and i'm going to name it ic wave next and click finish just close this here i'm going to create an image view with the wrap content wrap content okay and margin top just set to 200 dp the right practice is to use the weight for the different views inside a linear view but for the time being i'm not going to explain that concept so i have used the margin tab now set the source to ic wave okay and you can see that at the bottom of our application we have created the, it is not covering the whole screen of our application so set the width of this to match parent after setting the match parent just change to this source to background okay and you will see that it is covering the whole screen so that's it for this video in which i have told you guys that how to create a simple dashboard for our user application so if you have any query request feel free to ask that into comment box. See you guys in the next video.